So I'm going to review a hair washing machine for you, which I received for a review from Appliance Online, who now call themselves AO.com. It's in the utility cupboard, which is right behind me, and I'm going to take you to see it now. It's a 10 kilogram capacity load washing machine, and I'm very happy with it. Okay, I want to wash Aaron's white t-shirts for school. Um, I only have about four of them that need washing and I don't have much else in terms of whites so I'm trying to pick a good wash normally you would pick the standard at 60 degrees but as you can see that takes 3 hours and 28 and considering I'm only going to put in four t-shirts and a couple of towels I don't really want them to be washing for that long so what I'm going to try and do is the quick wash which is only 15 minutes I'm going to see if it lets me increase that temperature um, from 20 to 60, but still do the 15 minutes. I don't know if it's possible, but let's give it a go. So I've put in my detergent. As you can see, it's an absolutely huge drum and um, a lovely big door. It looks bigger in real life than it does on my camera. You can tell it's a big, massive door. Um, so I'm going to get my wipes. Okay, so I've put five of his white polo school shirts in and look how big the, the drum is. Um, I'll put in a couple of extra whites and I definitely need a smaller wash. Okay, even with two towels and light trousers and a light 90 in, the machine is still less than half full, so I'm definitely going to see if I can do a quicker speed wash. I'm going to turn it up and do a quick wash. To 20 degrees. I don't really want to do white t shirts at 20 degrees, so I'm going to see if it lets me put it up to 60. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, so, time for a rethink. Had a bit of a rethink, and I found out that that one that's called Mix, I can change that from 40 to 60, and that'll be 1 hour 18. Or Eco, I can also change from 40 to 60, and that's also 1 hour 18. So it's better than the three hours, so that's what I'll do. So starting again, I've still got my less than half full drum of whites. Turn on the power, go to Eco, which is allowed to be used for cotton. This time it will let me go to 60. Ah, so the book says 1 hour 18, but it must be because of the... Let's see if it does 1 hour 18 for 40. Ah, so it does 1 hour 18 for 20. 1 hour 18 for 40, but me wanting to do them at 60 degrees increases it to 1 hour 38, so that's worth bearing in mind. But that, this is the eco one, so and then press start, and you'll get to hear how quiet it is. Um, what I'm missing right now is my old machine had an option called half load, but this has got start, extra rinse, intense speed, temperature, then it's got spin, rinse, delicate mix, sports, pre-wash, standard, eco. It doesn't have an option for half load. But I think, judging by a couple of things I've read in the book, it, it does know how much weight is in there because it seems to vary the quantity of water it puts in. Um, depending on whether you've got 5 kilos or 10 kilos. So um, I think it does somehow know how much weight is in there. So it probably responds to a half load automatically. But yeah, that one I just chose, Eco, it defaults to 40, which as the instruction booklet says would be 1 hour 18, but because I've manually put it up to 60, which I'm glad it's allowed me to do, it's gone up to 1 hour 38. But much better than the 3 hours it would have been if I'd done a standard, a standard wash. Right, I've got some ducks in front that need to go in, so I'm going to put them on while I'm doing this video. The first thing that struck me about the machine is the simple choice of washes, and I love the digital screen where you can see how much time is left on your wash and the duration of your wash. Um, the other thing that strikes you when you first receive it is how enormous the drum is, because it is a 10, 10 kilogram capacity washing machine. I didn't have any worry about the height and width of it because mine is in a utility cupboard. Okay, so I've just half filled it with um, coloureds, which are 
mostly ducks and I read in the instruction manual that although it doesn't say half load anywhere if you press eco before you choose your wash you can select a half load so I'm going to give that a try and see if it really works in reality so the door is silent to shut you just press the um, the button at the back of the handle and then depress it so it silently silently closes you don't need to slam it now let's see about that half wash so press the power on um, let me just choose eco and then let me choose standard oh it might work I bet that 220 will go up if I put it up to 60 degrees though yeah it does so let me just check the instruction manual again so a standard wash at the 60 degrees I've chosen would normally be 3 hours 28 so pressing eco first has brought it down to 2 hours 40 and um, it would have been even lower if I'd chosen 40 degrees but I quite like washing at 60 I know it's probably not environmentally friendly but um, there's all sorts in there so I do want to do them on a bit of a hot wash so all I had to press was power then eco then standard then I notched the temperature up to um, 60 I didn't have to put the speed up because it was already at the top speed but as you can see you can choose the spin speed um, if you had things that were extra soiled you press intense if you were putting extra detergent in you just do an extra rinse and now it's flashing to tell me to press start so I'll press start and you can hear how quiet it is Now, for me, that gets even quieter because it's in a utility cupboard. I just shut the door and I can't hear it at all. The other day I heard it a little bit, but it's because during the spin cycle it was making the ironing board rattle. So if I take the ironing board away, literally when the door's closed, I won't hear a thing. But um, what I love about it is um, the washing comes out spun very, very well. Maybe that's down to the 1,400 spin speed, but um, things come out having had a really good spin. The only thing I noticed yesterday was a couple of towels were wet. No more wet than normal, but um, I'm just used to everything coming out of there so dry. Um, it obviously doesn't have the same effect on towels. They came out how they did with my previous washing machine. My previous was a Hot Point Aquarius that I'd had for 15 years. The other thing that's new about this machine is it only attaches to the cold feed, so it warms the water itself, um, whereas my old washing machine used to attach to the hot and cold feed, but apparently new machines don't do that. Now this is where you see how silent it is. It's not that noisy at all. and a lovely electronic display 10 kg capacity, 14,000 spin speed and A++ energy rating one other thing to note is um, when the engineer came to try and fix my hot point um, one of the problems was um, the display wouldn't recognise that the door was locked and um, he was showing to me that even if you <laughs> push it closed um, this bit used to just bow in and out and um, I always thought of it as being a very solid machine given that it was 15 years old because they made them more solid back then but actually contrary to popular belief they still make things solid because look at this it doesn't bow in and out at all that whole frontage is very very solid my other one that would literally go it would like bow in and out but no this is a very very solid machine I tend to put a ball straight into the drum so although we've had the washing machine a week I haven't actually used the drawer yet but I'll show you what it's like it's got three areas and it's got this middle bit and I'll find out more about that for you in the instruction book now 
The other thing I love about this machine is even if you're not using the 10 kg capacity, what you benefit from is that huge drum. It means that your clothes have space to move around, which means the water gets in and amongst them, the detergent gets in and amongst them. And I just think with a drum of that size, you get more of a superior wash. Now, this is all the washing, washing settings that it does. It's really worth studying this because it shows you what temperature they'll default to and what the water consumption is and how long they take. So a wool wash for well, 1 kg, so that would just be a couple of jumpers, that would be 20 degrees and it would take an hour. Synthetic would be 40 degrees, 5 kgs, that would take 1 hour 50. So that's all there. That's worth studying because it shows you the spin performance, the wash time, the water consumption. And with some of those you can tweak the temperatures, which I'm often doing. Um, but you'll notice that there isn't silks there, but I wouldn't be alarmed by that because you've got synthetic, you've got wool, you've got delicate, you've got sportswear, so there's plenty of scope without actually needing a silk wash. The other good thing in the instruction manual is this um, table because it shows you if you can tweak up the temperature or not. So for example with the Eco, even if it defaults to 40, I can tweak it up to 90. The standard defaults to 40, but I can tweak it up to 90. Um, oh, the quick wash sticks at 20. Wow. Um, so, yeah, you can see in the instruction manual whether you can tweak up the temperature or not. I don't know at what point in the cycle it heats the water, because at the moment the glass still feels cold. And it's about 10 minutes in at the moment. But I'm just going to look up some information on the drawer for you. OK, I've just read in the instruction manual that you're supposed to clean the detergent drawer once a week. And to that end, it comes fully out. Even though I've never used it, it's got some water in it. Because obviously it tries to flush it through, not knowing that I've got a detergent ball in the drum. So there's a little bit of um, water there too. So I'll probably have to dry them down if I don't want mould to build up. So yeah, that's worth, because it could build up on the top, you know, those um, the roof of the detergent drawer. Because I remember where I'd had my previous machine for 15 years, it used to get black up there. So that's probably worth bearing in mind, giving this a dry once a week, if not a clean once a week, if you're not using it. Anyway, I've just read what each of the compartments are for. I'll just show you. So... The one on the far right is number one, the one on the far left is number two, and the one in the middle is number three. So number three is for softener. One is, um, so basically if you're doing a pre-wash, you put detergent in compartments one and two. For all other programs, do not add detergent to compartment one because that's obviously just for pre-washes. And it says, do not overuse softener, otherwise it will damage the artificial fibers. Yeah, fibers. Overall, I would say it's a very solid, very attractive machine. You can hear how silent it is. It still hasn't got hot yet. And we're now down to 227. But I've used it for um, a week, and I've used it for all sorts of washes, and I've been very happy with its performance. As I said at the beginning of this video, I got the wash machine from AO.com. I received it on um, on a Saturday and it came with two delivery men and I had booked that they would take away the old machine and they would install the new one. So just to let you know what that involves, the old machine had some water in the bottom which didn't phase them at all. Um, machines are definitely a two-man lift and AO don't scrimp on that so you definitely get two men with your delivery. So the two the two guys, they brought out the old machine, they weren't phased that it had some water in it. Obviously it had a defect, otherwise I wouldn't have been getting a new one. Um, they then unwrapped the new machine, which means they take off all the plastic, the polystyrene, which is fantastic because, um, I don't know if you know well, in my area at least, the recycling service doesn't include polystyrene, so it's great to have that taken away. And they take it away in a very neat way where they don't leave any bits and bobs. So they unwrapped the new one on the patio, 
and they brought it in and they installed it and then um, I think it's the wastewater goes into like a sleeve and when he did a test cycle before he left um, that tube hopped out of the sleeve and um, and he securely put it back in and I said I'm so glad that you do this test wash cycle before you go because if that had happened after you'd left I wouldn't have known what to do so that's the sort of troubleshooting that they can take care of before they go also what they do is they adjust the feet so that your new machine is lovely and secure on its legs and not wobbly at all so so yeah they installed it they explained to me that my old machine was off the hot and cold feed whereas this one is just the cold which is normal with new modern machines um, they made sure I was happy with where it was. Um, apparently my cable for my old machine was going behind a shelf and um, they said they wouldn't be able to fit the plug behind the shelf so literally you'd have to take the shelf off and um, feed it behind and put the shelf back on and um, we just all had the idea that it could just come from behind the machine round the front of the shelf and then plug in so we don't know how, um, how the previous machine was plumbed in and because that came from our previous property um, I didn't have um, a delivery service to install it it was just installed by a plumber I don't know how he got round that with the plug to be honest but what was lovely with the delivery drivers is they said to me that if we cut off the plug to feed it through um, that would invalidate our warranty so it was really nice to have the reassurance of being told that but yeah for the time being we just put it round the front of the shelf to plug it in um, but it was great to include the service of having it installed, so I would highly recommend that. So make sure when you order your machine that it includes collection of the old, delivery of the new and installation of the new. Because if you've been waiting for your machine, the last thing you want to do is have it sitting there looking gorgeous and you can't use it. Um, and um, the brilliant thing with AO.com is they can deliver within 24 hours. So if you've got a broken machine on Thursday, you can order your new machine on Friday and receive it on Saturday. And that was the other thing um, with the delivery drivers. They were running late due to traffic and complications and they still came even though it was really late at night. It was about between half eight and nine when they came. And it didn't stop them coming um, because they clear all their jobs. So it's lovely to have the reassurance that you're not just going to be left without a machine. So yeah, I'm a very happy customer. And just for full disclosure, I am reviewing the machine for AO.com. Thank you. If you happen to be married to a plumber or someone handy and they want to know what it comes with, it comes with a user manual, a bottom cover, a drain hose bracket, five blanking plugs and one inlet hose assembly. Like I said, it just feeds off the coal feed. This is the sort of things that the drivers would have had to do. Attach the felt and install the plastic board, remove the transportation bolts. So that's why I'm glad adjusting the feet, that's why I'm glad that I made sure installation was part of the delivery. And this is the back of the machine. Drain hose, water inlet valve, power cord, back cover screws, back cover transportation bolts. It's a very classy, classic looking machine. And the digital display is not too jazzy, it's just informative, telling you the length of your cycle and how long is remaining. I really like it. In the instruction manual there's this handy guide telling you for bed sheets, blankets, clothes, jackets, etc. what they weigh approximately in grams and this is very handy considering the whole reason we needed a new machine is because the hubby overfilled the old one. It was 15 years old, I don't know how much longer I would have got out of it if he hadn't overfilled it, I guess we'll never know. But um, yeah, make sure you never overfill your machine because my mum's done it and it could be fixed, my auntie's done it and it could be fixed, but the reason mine couldn't is um, having it overfilled, basically, I'll just turn the camera to me, hold on. Yeah, what basically happened was having the machine overfilled um, put extra pressure on the engine to turn that load around and it wasn't so much of a problem when it was dry, but when the water started to be added it obviously got even heavier. So the extra pressure that put on the motor or the engine or whatever you call it short circuited the um, the control board and then what happened was even though I tried to do a spin cycle, we emptied the washing and then I tried to do a spin cycle to empty the water, but the LED was flashing that the door wasn't locked. So I tried to confuse it by holding the door, you know, pressed, 
but the engineer when he did come round a few days later said that was never going to do anything because he used a probe to check if there was any signal from the control board to the door and there wasn't so him putting a new latch on the door which he did try he got a proper new door latch and put it on that didn't make any difference because there was no electronic signal going from the um, from the door to the control board and I believed him that the control board was shot because um, the whole reason we knew the washing machine was broken was because our downstairs electricity went out and we had to press the fuse and we were wondering what appliance had caused our fuse to blow out because we hadn't been using a kettle or a hairdryer or anything and it was basically the washing machine so um, it got to the point in the cycle where it couldn't cope with the load it blew out the control board but not so much that the LEDs weren't working we had the LED flashing that the door wasn't locked but it just couldn't tell that the door was locked because the signal between the two had gone so the engineer said getting a new control board would be £100 and then of course you've got the cost of installing it which he said wasn't economical with a 15 year old machine so um, had that not happened I don't know how much longer it would have last for, lasted for but I'm glad that AO.com came to my rescue and I'm glad they've let me review such a solid classic machine that doesn't seem flimsy at all. So long may it last. It's down to 209 now and I just heard the loud noise of water coming in. So presumably this time it's going to be the actual hot wash. So that's about 30 minutes in. It doesn't feel hot yet but it certainly doesn't feel as cold as it did. probably takes a while for the glass to warm up and it probably takes a while for the water to warm up. But you can still see that it's quite a quiet machine. Ah, more water. That's going through there by the sounds of it. Because it doesn't know that I haven't put any detergent in there. Because I just put a ball of detergent in the drum. Which I might stop doing, I might stop using the drum. Daddy recently, Daddy recently bought this stuff, so I could put that in the drawer in theory. Still doesn't feel hot yet. 